Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Another laptop video. We're going to be upgrading the SSD today. So I've got the 970 Evo 1 terabyte SSD. Now, I say upgrade, it's already got an SSD in there now. It came with a 256 gigabyte uh, SSD but these laptops actually have two slots one's empty and then one has the 256 gigabyte so I'm going to be putting this uh, Samsung terabyte one in and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my editing software on it and then I'll probably put Call of Duty like Warzone on it and then see if they perform better with this or not these are going to be one of the best ones you can get one of the best ones you can get so we'll get it fitted I'll show you how to fit it first and then afterwards, we'll see um, the, the before and afters. I've done the befores already, the times of stuff loading up. Uh, and then I'm going to do, uh, if the FPS is better, you know, a couple of little tests just to see, is it worth doing? So we will find out. Um, so yeah, let's get it fitted. Before I do, don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to a thousand and with your help, we can get there. So yeah, thank you. Right, okay, so first thing you want to do is take out all these little screws around the back of the case. Okay, so once you've got the main cover off, you then want to take this cover off here. You can see under this one, there is the original SSD that came with the laptop. So all you do is you take this little screw out there, which I've already done, and then that just pulls straight out. And then you get your new SSD, and these go in like a bit of an angle. Make sure, because uh, you've got the larger strip there and a the smaller strip, so make sure you, you get those in the right way around and it just pushes in nice and snug. It sits on its own, like it, it's springy like that because that's the connections pushing against each other, so that's good. And then when it sits around here, it's, that circle sits perfectly around here where it screws in, so you know then it's pushed in far enough. So all you then do is push that back over there, and this, this is the hardest part, just getting this little screw. I'll try and put on the screwdriver first. Try and get this little screw back in. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go, that's in, done. Easy as that. Literally, that little screw is the hardest thing. Um, once you've got that out of the way, then you're good to go. So, as you can see there, the uh, SSD is now installed. All you've got to do is chuck your cover back on, and then you are good to go. Okay, guys, so there's one thing that's probably worth mentioning, if you've put a new SSD into your laptop or your computer, it might not actually register it um, as stored. So if I go into here, um, onto my PC, you see mine is already showing. But if it doesn't show here, you might have to basically let your computer know that it's, um, that it's a new uh, hard drive. So I'll just quickly show you how to do it. And then if this happens to you, then you know how to sort it there and then. Um, so you go on disk management. Here we go. So you need to go to this screen. So you see mine's already up here, but if it doesn't come up here, it might be showing as unallocated, like this little one here is a mine. So I will quickly just show you how to allocate it so it's set up properly. So you click on new simple volume, next. Uh, make sure these two numbers match whatever size it is. If it's uh, one terabyte, it'll probably say a thousand, uh, thousand gigabyte. Or if it's 500, it'll say 500. So just make sure they match and then that's all you need to do. And click next. And then this is just what you want to name it. So name it whatever you want. So I'll just leave it as new volume. And there we go, that's it, done. So you see now it's sorted. So if I go back to documents, uh, this PC, it's showing there. So it might not show, so if it does, that's exactly what you need to do, and then it's showing there, and that's it. 
Okay, so now the SSD is installed, I just want to see if there's any sort of performance uh, improvements from using the HDD and now moving to the SSD. So, uh, the first test I wanted to do was to see how long it would take to open a program. So for my editing, I used Premiere Pro. Uh, before, it took about 10 seconds to open it. And now on the SSD, it's still about the same, 10 seconds. I did it a couple times uh, on either, just to see if there was any differences, and it was roughly about 10 seconds, so no difference there. And then I also did it on Call of Duty, just to see how, how quick again it would open. Before, about 35 seconds, and after again, about 35. So no real difference in opening a program, so nothing there. Um, the next thing I wanted to try was, editing-wise, how long it would take to condense a file. So I use Handbrake to condense my files down to then post them onto YouTube. Um, before, it used to process about 21.9 frames per second and now it was 25.1 so it's a fair improvement really so from 21.9 to 25 so not bad going at all really and i did it twice on either and the results were exactly the same so it just goes to show that on the ssd it can perform it can move stuff quicker um, which is helpful to save time and um, it was test out if the fps was better in games so I just used Call of Duty. Uh, the first test I did was on a private match, so I could control everything, like what map it'd be, how many bots. So the test was the same. Um, so before it was usually between 120 and 140 FPS. And honestly, now that Call of Duty is installed on the SSD, I, don't, I couldn't really see much, much improvement. It was pretty much the same, maybe a little bit better. Because you know what it's like, the FPS just jumps up and down. Um, so maybe a little bit better but nothing major that i could you know definitely say yep yeah, it was better um, and then i tried warzone now before it was about between 80 and 90 fps on warzone and obviously it's a massive map it's hard to um hard to get good fps on huge maps so um it was probably a little bit better on warzone only a little bit i mean before 80, 80 to 90 and now it was probably 85 to 95 maybe i saw I did see 95 a few times, so maybe just a little bit better, but nothing massive, if I'm honest. So, is it worth getting? That was sort of the question I was asking myself. Is it worth getting? So, I needed space, and I was running out, so it was worth it to get the storage. Um, you pay a bit more for the SSD as you would pay for HDD, which is sort of the older hard drive. So, yeah, I think it was worth it. I was going to upgrade it at some point. Uh, I went with a one terabyte. You can get two, but it just gets more and more expensive. So, yeah, it was worth it. I I think it was worth it for me. Um, probably next, I'm going to upgrade the actual hard drive that's in it. Um, the one I've got is just one I had laying around because when I got this laptop, that slot was empty, and it was only 750 gig. Um, the one I had laying around, whereas I kind of could do with a couple of terabytes just to keep all these videos and put more games on it and stuff so yeah so that's about it so yep yeah, thanks for watching uh look after yourselves and until next time i'll see you later